by Buddha. I'll tell you. We've got some decent weather. Uh, first time in freaking ages. Most of the clouds themselves. <laughs> What am I, the weatherman? Uh, clouds themselves are holding a fair bit of water and we've got a few sprinkles, but it's, you know, it's been shit house for a long, long time. And every man and his dog that's got a decent rig. Decent rig. Um, is out, um, is out in force, you know? Like near my place there, this young bloke and his, and his floozy were on this funny looking machine um it's a trike but it's got like yeah two wheels up front and one in rear and yeah you got his floozy with no helmet on the back there and those rigs you you uh not legally required to have a wear a helmet or something and they're blasting along and i'm rumbling down the road and i swear i see this thing i don't know what was it a maybe a 1959 pillarless chevy or some bloody thing tricky looking it looked like a freaking Batman's rig, you know. So, well, 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 whatever they do. And, uh, well put together for sir. The, uh, paint job on beautiful. It looked like it's brand new. What a rig. And, uh, some other bloke zipped by me with the, this little, looked like one of those dicky looking French rigs, you know. Oh, Lotto's open. Shit, yeah, here we go. Come on, this time. Shit, this money's supposed to be for food. Uh, what do you do? Food or lotto? I know there's an ATM in there. We might, we might just make it. Yep, we're gonna be good. Oh. Okie cocky. Yeah. yeah, this uh, little Frenchy looking unit. Tiny little rig it was. And, um, what have we got? One of those, um, you found that, you know, the um, thing on the roof, um, you can open that thing up. Are they crawling in? And, uh, and, uh, yeah, loads of dudes are out there in all kinds of rigs. Yeah, I mean, the, the road was really busy. Everyone's out. Everyone's out. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like there's an opportunity to actually get out your door. <laughs> hey? And here... You know, it's not mandated, for example, to wear, like, the face diaper. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, but social, this social expectation thing keeps them in, in this sort of framework of mind that they sort of have to. I don't, you know, because I'm, like, a demigod. But, um, it's not like, um, you know, the prison world in Australia, or they're leading the charge. Yeah, it's not like that at all. Oh, my mother just said, that, oh, they're in another lockdown, a hard lockdown. Hey, who's playing God, mate? Who's playing God? Right, let's go have a look. Right, now I'm either going to go and get a, um, go back to heaven over there, Sukiya. Oh, hello. Ah, Roto 6 to Roto 7. Go here, can this now? Zimbabwe go happen. Hi, yeah, Roto six, Roto seven. Go man, book what? Just to duck here, look at that. Da jo yo, sugu kata. Yeah, okane mochi. Yeah. Do you know number E? Not seven. Not seven. Yeah. Ah, no chance. Book what? I'm gonna win. Nijini. Nijini. Okay. Nijini. Nijini. Okay. Hi, hi. Ni mai ona go. Ah, cool. Yeah, these are the winner. Nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah, nah. Good, <laughs> good luck. See you later. I got it. Right then. There's my Lotto Six and Lotto Seven. All right, let's have a look at this. Now, this is the sixth number. Number five, number six. I've bought six Lotto tickets in this country. Now, uh, let's see. This Lotto Seven will be on uh, what's today's date, the nineteenth. So. This will go off tomorrow on the 20th. And my numbers are 3, 6, 15, 16, 23, 28, and 33. Cost me three bucks. Yep. I'm feeling lucky. Alright. Now, uh, oh, this is tonight. 
Alright, this is Lotto 6, uh, goes off tonight. And um, uh, let's see now, it cost me two bucks. And I'm on 5, 9, 24, 25, 29, and 35. There you go. Now, what would I do if I, um, if I, if I won the lotto? Look, I'm a zillionaire anyways, but obviously. So, um, I guess I could send a whole bunch of letterbox suits to Afghanistan. I, I read the news this morning where this, um, this woman wasn't wearing the bucko boshy. Bucko means stupid and boshy means hat. Yep, wasn't. I was out there walking around because the um, Taliban said, yeah, yeah, no worries, we're going to be good to everybody. So she wasn't wearing a bucko boshy. A yeah, letterbox suit. And uh, so they, they shot her and killed her. Yeah. So they're playing God. There's a lot of dudes out there playing God, eh? Mad world, man. Shocker. Anyways, right. Now, well. okay, let's go and see what they got for munchy poos. Now, if I can get something better than. Now, this is one of my um, box resources. You can actually take all of these for freebies. That one's a bit thin. Yeah, I might grab a few of these on my, uh, on my way. Yeah. I've still, I've still got plenty of them about that size anyway. That's good. But then, now. This is some nonsense for whatever. Yes. Yeah. We're in here to get some coffees. Yeah, how's that, eh? You're walking down the street and uh, some dude says, Hey, you're not wearing some shit on your head, eh? You know, as if she was wearing some stockings or something. And so they shot her to death. Eh? Singing songs of freedom. Unreal. You know, what a causation. Who's the dickhead in charge that decided to, in the in the manner in which they pulled out of that joint? Yeah, well, politics, mate. Politics. Now, what we're going to do? Let's see, 105 yen, 106 really. So, we grab. That's uh, uh, two dollars ten. Now, let's see what we have over here. Oh, I've got four eggs into me again today. My gut's all looking stupid, really. I'm skinny and fat at the same time. But I'm not worried. I'm just chucking as much food as I can into me. Now, what do we have here? Mm, I wonder. Yes. That's $4.29. Hmm. Got a few things done today. Sent something to to um. It's looking pretty yummo, really. But uh, I think I'll go to Sukiyo anyways, because that's heaven. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't mind trying that stuff though. Hmm. Yummo. Okay. I'm gonna head off over to um, Sukiyo. Cover me. I'm going in. Ah, uh, that's better. Now I realise what I did wrong. I think I didn't calculate the tax or some bullshit. I don't know what I did wrong there. Um, I went to... I should have hit the the English button. Zig English for the... Um, see, they got this system where you, you chuck your money in this computery thing. And I, I kind of know the sequence. Kanji, I'll never remember that stupid shit. You know, I don't think in pictures. Looks beautiful though. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> what am I in a belligerent mood today? Um, look, I went and just had a few hours sleep because I was in a bit of a sleepy poos. Anyways, um, I just went with the sequence for the um, for the Japanesey, and um, I don't know, man, what I did wrong. Um, <laughs> fucking computers. Oh God. 
it's computerized world, man. See, I could do that sequence 50,000 times, and but I'll still fuck it up. <laughs> yep, I will. <sighs> Day in the life of a Barabooga. Right then. So yeah, I'm standing there just looking like the stupid guy, Jin. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This bloke comes up and he goes, I oh, just press it on that one. You gotta stick a, another 10 yen in there. Alright, oh, okay, yeah. God damn it. I'm like, thanks, mate. No worries. I'm just staring at Kanji. I could never, never, in 10,000 billion trillion years, I could never get Kanji. That thing. Um. <laughs> Maintenance. Whatever. Now, I just don't think in pictures. I can't think in pictures. Okay? Just doesn't happen. What's it doing there? Where did that come from? Okay, now we're gonna go over to a sukiya. Suki, 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 ya. I'm in a good mood. I just sort of woke up and you know I, I crashed out for I don't know shit it must have been about four hours so that was that uh, yeah I wasn't too pleased uh, this morning when yeah you hear all this bullshit about um you know when the Taliban went in there and go yeah yeah we're gonna respect women's rights and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and blah 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 you know, <laughs> it's all just mouth noises. It's all bullshit, eh? Like, kill a woman because she doesn't have, just plonk something on her head, eh? You reckon this heavenly spaceman, like, gives a shit if you, like, plonk something on your head, eh? Uh, I'll probably get done for misinformation again. Another seven days strike or get deep fucking platformed or whatever for shit what's going on here um band <laughs> band 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 I mean I don't know man it's humanity that's what it is but can you see the sense in it don't stick that thing on your head you gotta die hey eh? the whole bunch of Gods running around with beards. <laughs> uh, imagine if that was your sister or something. Yeah, you'd want to turn the place into freaking glass. Oh uh, well. 20 years, 2.2 .2 trillion dollars. Thousands of people, thousands of people died. And now we're at Sukiya. Well. I ain't going there, that's for sure, I'm going here. Right, Let's, yep, we should have enough. I'm going to win the lotto. And then go to the Caribbean. Uh, wherever. Yep, we're good. Right, good on time, dude. Oh, so they installed these um, computery things. They're, they're well designed. Look at that. <laughs> now, this is um, Nihongo. Right, and you've got the master language, Zig English, and you've got Chinese, Chigoku, and then you've got Kangaku, and Korean. Korean, Chinese, Japanese, and the master language, Nihongo, Eigo, Chigoku, Kangaku. Now, what we want here is Gyudon. I usually just go over there and do it all there, but. Uh, now, uh, we want Gyudon. And we want Gyudon again for some reason. Um, we want to have the um, soup and pickle vegetables combination. You can choose what size. Mega. Yeah, that cool. Yeah. And then you are. Uh, what are you doing? You bloody computers. Uh, add to orders. And then that's five dollars seventy. Five dollars seventy in. And that should give you some bullshit. Thank you for your order. Mm. Your Hello. Now, um, Tsudaku on a guy. Hi. Okay, Koki. Hi. Oh, this one. Yeah. Right. Wait, yeah. Make a tuxan toilet paper, huh? 
Remember the days when you could just give them hand dough to them? Yeah. And they got all that bullshit. All these spaces are supposed to keep you away from the. the oh. Yeah. It's all silly. But this this place. I've never sort of been adventurous enough to try for anything else. Um, but I did have to um, make a little song for myself because uh, they kind of gave me the wrong meal one time but I didn't go and start throwing things through the drive through or whatever <laughs> America fuck yeah right now you get these things couple of these yeah and one of these yeah and uh I will no show you no more no uh he talked to one of the I will no so then come in on any hongo Show you mono. No, kabuku. Kabuku. No. <laughs> kabuku. Alright, that sounds good. Now, see, I've only been in this country 20 years. Okay, and uh, Ocha, Ocha, I want to go to that. Ocha is um, tea. This, this stuff's delish. Oh, good. I got all this stuff. This is the stuff I like. Ah, like in the sculling competition. Mm. Yep, see there's all the radishy things and you get like your, your thingies and all your, all your thingies. I've eaten here heaps of times. Oh, right, there you go, so. Ah, kochi. Ah, so, so no more on it. Hey, Coco, hey, Coco. Come on, so I call it YouTube, um, Taksan Gaijin san. Ski Nihon, Nihon, eh? So, um, uh, daily life. Ja, done there. I got all. Now, this means I think Osu, push. Hit that one. And you go. That one actually means pull. Yeah, so you go kanji there. And that kanji that you just saw, push, um, has something to do with the um, Yumi bow. Yeah, you know, the long bows that the samurai would use back in the day oh, oh there you go that sound that's where that come from that kanji see i'm an expert in the field yeah. oh, 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 shit. Right then. hey daily life the daily life of a baribu girl now it's watching this shit anyway so that's the way it is well, I bet the uh, algorithm thing. Hang on, it's probably just gone. Warning! Warning! Censorship! <laughs> I'll be your many. The Rebel News. Um, yeah, you know, you say certain things and, you know, it's like, warning! <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson, you know? And uh, they pick up on shit that you say. Yeah. Who's playing God? By God! Oh well, who gives a shit? I've had a fantastic life. And uh still got a pretty reasonable life, I guess you could say. So I gauge who I am by how many girlfriends I've had in my life. I had 13 girlfriends in my life. Technically that's not right. One of them was a wife. And there was a few extras here and there, but they don't really count because they weren't exactly pretty. But I'm talking about the pretty ones, yeah? Yep. Yes. So, I must have been a pretty worthy person for them to be stupid enough to go out with me, right? So that's good. Uh, <laughs> right, now, today I have to pack yeah. one thing and um, I, uh, what the hell else am I going to do? I think I'm listening to something. Yes. I did have a plan. Then I went to sleep. I woke up and totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Um, what am I doing again? Oh, yes! I'm gonna charge up that um, 
Yeah, charge up that uh, impact driver. Let's see if I can improve that little driveway space and put those those plyboard sheets that uh, you don't know what I'm talking about because no one watches my shit anyways. Hey, daily life. Okay, we've got the phone. Good. Let's see now what's going on here. Thursday. So that's good. I so know what day it is. Alright. Yeah. Okie cookie. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Okay, let's go hop in this rig and uh, head off to the, uh, yeah, the other night and it was really, really dark. I went that way and I overshot the road that I was supposed to go on. And then I uh, ended up <laughs> just wandering around. Ugh, didn't know where I was. Yeah, fuzzy Wuzzy was a woman. I didn't know where the hell I was. I can tell you. All right, now, uh, Miko Kaji. Yeah, she was a um, this um, actress in some kind of series that went on years ago. If you see uh, the movie Kill Bill, when uh, the two birds go at it with the swords, that's that's her. In the music. Now, that goes like that. What are you doing on a Thursday? See, can't be that bad. Hands are slippery. Oh, if you play music, warning, warning, aliens approaching. You're playing music. That's um censorship or no, no, they do censorship. Um, what's it called? Copyright. Yes. Yeah, they're playing God. Who, who's God? Playing God again? Right? Must be a lot of dudes out there that want to play God. Hey, that freaking. Dorsey or whoever. I don't. I, I don't do Twitter. Yeah. See? I'm a legal beaver. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a lot of people out there. Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I really enjoy YouTube. I, I like being a part of it. The community thing, and I subscribe to about like what is it about 220 people and creators, that's what they are. And I like being a creator too. My my uh, my content shit, but hey, it's fun, you know, just coming up with some bullshit. I think that like I don't sort of give a stuff too much, but I think that um, if I had like you know those thumbnail things, um, some people, you see um, successful YouTubers, they have, see I know all about it, I've got to tell you now. Uh, I'll tell you how um, you can be, uh, you know, um, a gender non pronoun binary, I'll tell you all about it. Oh, God. Um, yeah, they all have these sort of um, clickbaity kind of, oh, you know, all, I don't know, fancy sort of bulldust um, and people click on all that sort of shit. The thing is, those sort of people that click on all that bullshit just for the fact of clicking on my bullshit because it's just some bullshit, they're not really the type of subscribers that I would want 
anyways. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, just some sort of whoever. My, the sort of subscribers that I would prefer to have are people that are actually legitimately interested in uh, Nihong land and um, and sort of would like to actually come here sometime and you know those sort of people and you know I hope to find more of them and uh, in fact some people contact me and say oh I've been to such and such or I lived at such and such and some people are keen to come here because there's so many like for example vacant houses and uh, you can get a house real cheap and and um Beautiful river just over there. I could have shown you that, but there's a traffic line over there. And you've got to be a bit careful on this one. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, in, in Australia, for example, um, it's just, for many, it's just impossible to buy a house, to buy a home, to buy have a family, and all that bullshit. All the kit and caboodle, you know. They just just can't <laughs> for so many and I would say that a lot of that's by design yeah. seems to me that um, there's the bad people that are playing God want um, want to have us um, exterminated you know yeah it's better for the environment yeah you know but don't worry what's you know rules for thee and not for me Come on, baby. Come on. Right, just go easy on that one. Yeah, that, eh? It's all nice. So yeah, that's the way I see it. It um, just make it impossible for some. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You not even give a fuck about your own country and your own people or your own like that. That's the way. Uh, Look at the divide. I mean, I've been so, so ticked off about simply the... See, I told you, they're all out in force now today because of decent weather. Um, the, um, the divide has left me so despondent, so down, you know. I don't get depressed, but just been so fucking down. Um, the feeling of it, you know, just... It... Some people kill themselves, honestly. They're just so despondent, so depressed, and so this, that, and the other, and they just gave up, had enough. And that's what the bad people want. They're trying to play God. They want you to top yourself, you see? So what you do is, you don't do what they want. Yes. And you see the divide, especially in the Western world. Um, maybe it's not as bad as some areas, like, you know, some regions of the world, Middle East, Africa, whatever, you know, they're, they're all killing each other, you know, like, on a regular basis, and civil wars, and all this bullshit going on, but um, the way I see it with the Western world right now, it's sort of like, it's like um, what I equate to be a, like a cold civil war, you know what I mean, like a cold war, a cold civil war, That's that seems to be... That's, that's what it feels like to me, uh, the division, and uh, many out there are sowing these seeds and, and want, want to create this divide, want to continue this divide, and um, so what I'm, what I'm thinking of, I'm trying to change tact here, and uh, you know, I can't sail for shit, but I'll move the sail that way a bit, and I think I'm going to kind of try to shoot a cut of water. Always be patient when you're driving in this land. Don't run the gauntlet. None of that. Just go easy. Um, so I plan to just sort of change tact a bit. And uh, there's one of those Buddhist sect type uh, things. That's a crypt. There's a Buddhist temple over there. Right next door to it. Um, not a sect, no. That's a, that's a crypt. Where they keep bones and stuff and they open it up at a certain time of the year and then you pray to your family and stuff and that's the general standard Buddhist temple yeah I've been in there once 
Um, up there, there's a Shinto shrine there, there's a Shinto shrine up there, there's a Buddhist temple over there, and there's a Buddhist temple over there. I know it all in one. Uh, go on beer sizes and stuff for, for years in the uh, middle of the night and here I am at temples and stuff um, Yeah, so I'm gonna sort of try to change tact a fair bit here and um, just kind of get back to doing What I do best with stuff like I just mentioned and just try to sort of put a lot of that Still be aware of the shit that's going on but try to put a lot of that out of my mind and not allow it to as some people have contacted me said so just don't let it bother you you know this thing's got two seconds to go I'll just click back on yeah so there you go um, so I think it might be wise to sort of not try to consider so much of the what's going on and leave it up to those that want to play God. You know, I was, uh, this uh, reminds me of, um, I was watching some new, I watch loads of news stuff, you know, like real news and um, analyze the fake news and look at what the, uh, the omissions. Oh, you didn't happen to mention that, did you? <laughs> you know, and uh, the way I see it is, um, they can play God if they want, um, but, uh, I believe that that Jen Saki, Pasaki or whatever, <laughs> um, has the most difficult position of the in the political world currently because she's got to spin doctor bullshit <laughs> and, and make it sound true. But she, she even knows it's all bulldust, and um, the media knows it's all bulldust, and it's just it's just a whole show. And she's got it worse. You can see that woman, mate, she she doubles down all the time, but she put her money on the wrong team. And um, you can see, in just in the last, you know, short span of her being uh, in that position, she has aged, man. You can see she has aged. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of... I don't know, man. She could actually be a real nice person. You know, she probably figured, yeah, I've got this wonderful job and I'm the press secretary and yeah, following the footsteps of Sarah Sanders and um, and that that Kaylee, whatever, what was her name again? God, she was amazing, that bird, you know. But to try to try to hold a candle to her, I mean. Hey, Kaylee, Whaley, Bailey, or whatever, and I, um, McKaylee, or something. Like, I, um, messaged ages ago when she was saying something. I'm like, by God, you know, by Buddha, is, is, is she single? <laughs> and someone wrote to me, no, she's, um, she's happily married. <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that was her husband. Um, and tell them, tell them the great sage to back off. Um, hang on, let's get through this. We're coming up to the Ichiban Nagai Jikan Shingo. Uh, the longest, longest time to wait is this one here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, they can play God. Go ahead. Imagine your life like that, you you, you live in the political sphere. You know, so at least excellent people like me that have like goodness and honor um, can just sort of walk away. But those people live it, man. You know, that's, that's, they don't live it. That's who they are. Doesn't matter how rich they are. I'm poor as shit. Doesn't matter how rich they are. Yeah, you know, if your life's shit, well, <laughs> you know. I'd rather be a poor man and be happy than um, have someone holding an, like a an Epstein gun to the back of my head telling me to spin doctor shit, you know? They're just bad people. Yep. Bad people. Oh god, am I gonna get demonetized for this? Um, shadow ban. This, that and the other. Oh well. I have you know, I had 355 subscribers this morning, and now I have 
354. <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> Someone maybe didn't like my content or something. Shit, I should get some of this in. Maybe someone thought, who's this a Baraboogie I think he is? Hey? Well, maybe he's not on our team or something, I don't know. Hey, we'll go this way. I generally go that way, but we'll go this way because um, I know that the rice fields are going to look lush. You, you guys are going to really like it. I brought along two, one me two memory cardy things and two batteries, so... Um, I'll probably do a little bit of a photo shoot today. I listed um, this morning the uh, Golden Otoll, the five tiered pagoda that I uh, mentioned the other day, um, and that uh, Zen flute, which is, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, you don't need an AK or a, an AR 15 when you're carrying that thing, I can tell you. <laughs> By God! You know, I was like, my knuckles are still had PP. Look at that! It's a tattoo. <laughs> I wrote that down because uh, post office um, pamphlety, not pamphlety, um, that sort of. I needed to get some extra thingies from there, so that reminds me of that. I often stick right here. <laughs> I stick little labels and notes and stuff for me to remember shit because, like, not really good at that. You know, memory. Mari and Karatsu. Karatsu Castle is down that way, quite a long way. And Imari is, um, that's um, a form of, um, of um, Yakimono uh, ceramics. And right near Imari, this is in the, the island of Kyushu, right in the west of Japan, if you are aware. No one's listening to shit anyways, I'm just rambling to myself. I'm happy with that. Now, um, rest in peace that person that died over there. Yep. Now, there's um, a town uh, um, a town called Arita. And so they have Imari ware and Arita ware. Um, and there's all, in regions all over Japan. You might not be correct with the all over, but um, you have, yeah, yeah. You have, um, certain uh, particular styles and I've seen a lot of styles that I have, haven't got a clue what um, God I wrapped around here one night oh god if I was a young man I'd be over there um, alright now oh, let's just roll um, this bloke's right behind me <laughs> he's like hurry up you dickhead but he doesn't know I'm going to turn up there um, yeah, all kinds of different styles um, of um, ceramics and designs and things. It's really some beautiful stuff out there. Kutani, that's beautiful stuff. Yes. Um, I was in Australia and I was picking up this um, mobility scooter thing for my mother. This is beautiful here, yeah, check this out picnics here. A mate of mine comes up here sometimes and he loves it here because he's in the rat race and he's a, he's a office worker -y guy and so sometimes on the weekends he loves to just come out here and just walk around and whatever. He's the bloke that uh, does a lot of translation stuff. Helps me out with that. Um, yeah, so I was picking up this mobility scooter in, um, um, in a town called Mornington which is across the way of the peninsula of where my mother lives and you know, I was there we you know picked up this thing and made the made the deal I didn't haggle with them at all because it's an awesome piece and all that and it was great great rig <laughs> I went I went for a wrap on it um you know I'm just gonna go around town and I wasn't back for hours you know <laughs> I'm gonna drag race and this girl <laughs> girl was laugh and stalky and uh they had uh, some Japanese stuff there, um, yakimono, ceramic, that I had, I've never seen before. So, because the, they were asking me, I've had thousands of stuff, you know, and I just, um, I just had any, any idea of them. I said, sorry, I, I don't even know. It's probably from up north. And so, 
the, but the stuff, the um, the uniqueness of it. It's, yeah, beautiful stuff. Um, the reason why I, I mention this is I just sent ten items of Yakimono to somewhere this very day, and I'm thinking of racking up another box. So that's good. And uh, I'm gonna. When I said I was going to change tact a bit, you know, get move the sail over there, I'm going to um, get more serious about doing that because um, there's there's that great opportunity for me. Now you're going to love this rice field thing in here. Check this out. Oh my God. Okay. Now just for my YouTubers. Look at all these dragonflies. So you go sort of, if you go too fast, you just splat them. So let's just cruise like slowly. Um, smartest bird in the world. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you around there and we'll have a bit of a drivey poos. I was supposed to go over there, but let's just have a bit of a drivey poos. And I'll, I'll show you just how beautiful this is. This bloke's one of the local farmers, and these bloody joints, this joint's huge. There's some co op mob down there that um, mow down a whole bunch of like fields and bamboo -y and all that stuff and they um, they're growing all kinds of different vegetables and things I did a uh, video when I was in there and now uh, that's when I went for a wrap up in the mountains on um, on my scoop and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was a time when I was just, I was a bit sort of just despondent about things going on. And so I was just like, F this, I'm, I'm just going to go for a wrap. And uh, it's really good to, to be able to do that beautiful Buddhist temple in here. We could even have a look. Yeah, let's do it. It's not like I've got a whole lot I have to do today anyway. Hey, the things I do for my YouTube. No, watch as this shit. Let's get this going. <coughs> yeah. Ah, how's this stuff? That's a Buddhist temple. I've been drinking so much coffee of late that um kind of <laughs> kind of um I don't know you have like a rush or something and then I hope this is not all soy based and shit that means all my testosterone will be done uh, look at that and look how faggy my arms are now haven't been doing you know this this bullshit going on in the world a lot of us are just like not going anywhere plus the, the monsoon you just don't you can't go anywhere so um I kind of have to force myself to eat I've eaten um, four boiled eggs a day I've got that sukiya there so my appetite's coming back which is quite surprising that sort of goes to show just how despondent I've been no, I bet I, like, uh, I don't know what vegetable that is. Um, uh, you see that bloke's not worried. He's, uh, that's his life out there doing his thing. But he doesn't have to worry about any of this shit. I guess the truth is I don't really have to worry about any of this shit either. You know, it's just having the knowledge of what's truly going on. And being one that follows people that truly know what's going on. You know, real deal, independent journalists that are on the ground, right there, you know, filming it, interviewing people, getting the real truth, as opposed to the, uh, the lamestream media that if they're just sitting in their, in their um, studios and just bullshitting on. You know, so all this thing is so makes you so despondent that you just just you just feel down and you don't want to eat you don't want to just you just think fuck the world you know 
How's this? This is a family crest. Barabugo's Japanese Tours Buddhist monk, there you go Look at that Yeah, see this is what I like doing This makes me feel good What well, brings me back up to feeling content, you know <laughs> Singapore um, bought those Buddhist beads off me. These rat. Yeah. And, um, said that beautiful piece you can see in my um, in my feedback there. Oh, secondary bell. I was just about to say, I bet there's a second. Bam. There you go. Hansha. Yeah, a while back now, I sold some of these that were even larger than these so this will all redone every now and again check that out um there you go there's a uh, han shell there for some kanji all around it yeah. nice. look at the iron see those chains and all that and that spiral iron out right there I've never seen that design before. Uh, those chains there all swinging all over the show. Do you want to know? And, um, and, uh, typhoon kind of thing. You can go and check out the, the main bell in a minute. Yeah, I had some of these. I sold six of these to a chap in the States. Oh, yeah, they were. Beautiful, but I had to fight for those at the auction house and everyone knew I wanted them. <laughs> Everybody knew. So they, the blokes um, let me go on that one, which was really nice of them. Because they're rich guys and they could have just gone bam, yeah. You know. And I think sometimes they just indicate to themselves, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to beat you, mate. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. Sometimes it's got to be like that. But sometimes they're, they're like, okay, okay some rich dudes man they roll up in all their fancy pants rigs and <laughs> roll up in hey Mari. here we go well this thing's got four seconds to go so um I'll, I'll right here, ho. here we go beautiful huh investigate on that one. Yeah, waiting to see. Well, considering nobody's around, I doubt they're really mind anyway. Um, oh God, it's gorgeous. See up the top there, they've got those spikes on the dragon's head there. Shishies, hey, lion dogs right there, all around it. If I just happen to lean over, I might slip and oops, and oh, oops, I slipped. God damn it, I wish I didn't sleep. real deal pieces that come from a castle wall 
um, that uh, I acquired years ago. These blokes were, were renewing this castle wall, and I uh, mentioned that I'm an antique dealer, and I said they're really great. I like those, and, and now they said, oh, yeah, right, man, just there you go. <laughs> and they hand them to me. They're the real deal. Yeah. There you go. I don't think anyone's gonna hate me for accidentally slipping there and boom. Let's go for a bit more of a drive. Hey, what are you doing on a Thursday? <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing at least some work. Come on. Hey, five twenty. Strange, I've been mainly operating at night um, and um, I managed to sort of get to sleep at 4.30 in the morning and, and then I, I was up again and I don't know, in, in daytime, <laughs> you know, uh, the hours are all over the show, sadly you have to wear one of these bloody diapers. Yes. Beautiful, huh? La la da 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 da. La la da. Ah, that's why he stopped. <laughs> 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 Ibesho ne. Kaku ibesho desu ne. Boku wa takusan shashin shimasu video shimasu. Yeah, ibesho. Good place, huh? Because he waved to me and indicated. Oh, that's his place there. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, just had a gas tanker. He's a uh, no, gas. Uh, gas is not a liquid. Um, so he, because when I when I slipped and accidentally struck that that um, that um, boncho. Um, let's do this. Uh, uh, the motor cut out. I think. I know. <laughs> but the, the fact was that he um, had simply run out of fuel. There you go. You know, I'd love to have another hunch. Uh, um, a secondary bell. Yeah, quite a number of those over the years. Um, I just haven't been on the auction circuit. Haven't been, yeah. I only did one auction this year, I guess. No, I must have been a few more than that, I guess. But actually, I went to a few auctions, that's right. But uh, sometimes I'd just come home with nothing, home <laughs> back to the, the ranch with nothing. And I don't know, I kind of lucked out a few times. Um, but yeah, um, there's a chap over way over that way over the mountain. Um, he will probably get in contact again, and sometimes he well, he regularly goes to auction houses, and he um, works for other people that come over from like Korea and that, and and uh, he he stores their stuff for them and packs it all, and that's what he does for a job. And you know, I bet there's a lot of times he goes, yeah, I'll have that because he's always at the auction house, and he's got his own. Um, he's got his own uh, um, antique shop. He, he took me there. It's actually his house. And so that's that's rad. I haven't been here for a long time. Um, and he sometimes would um, buy a bell, knowing that I want it. I haven't been up there for a long time. Either. In a video of mine, I actually took a picture of that ages ago. Yep, that's got to be done again. Hold on. There we go. This thing working. Oh, there it is. There you go. I haven't been here in a while, eh? God, you're a hunk. Now, all you got to do is get some more food in here. Get that 10 kilos back. Just washed up. Got some, uh, Got some watery poos. That's good. Yeah, I have not been here in ages. 
so important I, I took a beautiful picture way late in the afternoon um, of that tolly there, Heaven's Gate, when the sun was down at the point where I must have been about here. I took the picture and it was a red, blazing red sun. And I've got that picture on, I think it's called Dropbox, yeah? I've got a few things on iCloud or whatever, but um, on Dropbox there. And um, the thing is, the pixelation things for a lot of my older photos, which are wonderful photos, um, you can't upload them to like, you know, as thumbnails or, or eBay, you know, sometimes I'll do my listing and put, put the item and then just whack a few random photos here and there to show people, you know, look at this beautiful stuff and, and, uh, and the pixelation -y things aren't good enough. But yeah, years ago, I've done loads of videos here, did a beautiful one here with a, a wonderful bell that had, um, musket, a musket ball round through it, a few beautiful things here. I remember this shishi here, she, this shishi had some coins in his mouth at one stage years ago. Probably down there somewhere. Up there you've got a nice little shiny <laughs> spot of it. Beautiful Suzu bell. And um, a lady that lives over there, her and her kids were here and I had a whole bunch of kimonos and they modelled for me here and I used to play a bit of golf with them over there, that was a laugh and uh, they were here one time and um, actually my mother wrote me and said is, is, that, is that your daughter? I said no no it's just these random kids <laughs> and they actually lived over there and, and uh, we had a, a right good laugh, you'll see that if you check out my uh, Japanese Temple Bell Bronze Buddhist, uh, you'll find one of those, and yeah, those kids are great. Um, I uh, laid out a wonderful book here that had, um, I've got great memories here, loads of tools I put there, um, a beautiful book with architecture of Japanese houses there. I fell down here one time when I had these dress shoes on, oh shit, one of those, right here I was, right there when it was all wet. Uh, I hit right here with my rib. That's happened like three times now. Uh, right there, and uh, I broke those ribs. Not that time, but uh, another time. I had some bad luck on that side. Up there, they got these beautiful torries. Yeah, so some real good memories here. I displayed the beast. Uh, one awesome bow right here, and quite a number of bows. And uh, uh, those kids and I, we played um, golf here and soccer here. Oh, really, really great. Yeah, how long ago was that? Huh? But yeah, that picture, it's, it is still beyond my Dropbox um, um, account. Uh, but yeah, some wonderful memories right here. Hmm. Actually, a girl I know, she's um, she came over here with me. Um, she does mainly the nightlife scene. I said, "Oh, can you give us a hand with some modelling?" So she modelled some um, kimonos for me. In fact, I I worked at a her bar. I didn't do much really. I just sort of just drank beers and she said, "Oh, can you just drink beers and talk to the customers?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah," because a lot of foreigners. Uh, would show up and um, yeah she was great she said oh, yeah, just drink beer for free okay and so that was a good job <laughs> yeah. that was, that was alright ah, we can go for a bit more of a cruisy poozy around here and then oh, I'll get around and get me something done okay. yeah that joint was uh, Really, really nice right there. I, um, I displayed a lot of stuff there. 
I'm gonna get back into doing stuff like that again. And then I started going to a few different shrines too. And uh around for a bit like that uh, we uh, usually older people they're um, I'll remind myself not to go too quick here I'll run over oh nearly got that dragonfly um, and where they've got all these little plots around where they uh, they're growing their vegetables and all that sort of thing uh, it's just groovy you can actually do this that here you can um, pay a little bit of dough and um, have a, a plot um, and uh, yeah, grow. You know, some people advertise, oh, you can, you know, you can um, rent this section here and grow your own veggies and things. So people do that. What are they? Allotment. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, England, my England. Back in the day, apparently people living in certain areas, they, they were government-wise, they were uh, they were entitled to have an allotment. I think. I think that was the case. Imagine that in Australia, I mean we've got so much land, much of it arable, um, much of it not so good. And uh, you know, if people, well if the people were in charge, oh god I'm going back to that again, the political stuff, um, that, um, and we were all entitled to have our own allotment. We can't have that. Nope. Isn't this beautiful, huh? So this is um, a way of getting out of the rat race. <laughs> I'm not in the rat race, but um, like I can understand what my friend, uh, one of my mates, he uh, he loves it to just come here and. Um, uh, just like he sometimes just goes for a real long walk up there or I've driven him up there there's waterfalls up there so I'll drive him all the way up there and just drop him off and he'll walk all the way down there and uh, totally ran out of battery power on that one so <laughs> I'm on the second battery I told myself I wasn't gonna do that yeah. oh. but, um, right so I um, can't use too much of this battery um, I was over there. Yep, can't use utilize too much of this battery or else um, I won't be able to list anything. Um, I do have that auxiliary charger. You can get snakes around here. Um, really should take a few more pictures, shouldn't I? And then I can chuck them on my site thingy. Um, yes, copy that one. Ah, well, I didn't have any real plan. There's plenty of work I can do, so I'll get around to that. Da -da -da -da. Got loads of awesome places up and around there. Over there, I, that's where I found, there's a video I put on um, where I found a, a haka, a cemetery, and an Inu, Inu Shishi uh, wild pig that had a real bad day. That was around there. Yes. Oh, uh, getting a bit, it's getting a bit Indiana Jones again. I said I was going to go and have a look at that Buddhist temple over there someday. Maybe someone can remind me. No one's watching this shit anyways. And uh, you can remind me to, to go and have a look at that. Yeah. Oh god, this is getting Indiana Jones. I'm 
Mm -hmm. I wonder, you know, with that uh, Windows Movie Maker thing, I mean, techie stuff, I'm so afraid, just to, don't know where you press that button, it all goes to shit. Um, if you can put like a sound bite, so when I start my videos, um, I'm happy enough, just I don't want nothing too fancy. You know, happy enough just to put that Abari Bugio thing, that, that screeny thing. Yeah, that's a Buddhist temple. I know, all the way over there. Yep, I can see from the uh, the roof formation. Um, I have to have a look at that sometime. Yes. Um, oh, I wonder if I can put a sound bite. I don't know how to do any of that. Or using the Windows Movie Maker. If anyone out there knows that you can do that or, or how to do it or whatever, not that anyone gives a shit, um, let me know. Now, I think I'll fearfully try and give that a go. <laughs> oh, we'll go parkour. There you go. That'll be nothing for those blokes. What's their name? Or, or what do they call themselves? God, they do some, they do some pretty wild stuff. Um, Stora, Stora, Storo, or something. These young guys from England, and they, uh, they do all that urban parkoury, jumping up and down, jumping on stuff and flipping over things and all that. And <laughs> um, they, uh. They say, oh, you got to join there, they, they, they stick it, they'll jump from one thing, you run up and jump from one thing and just stick it on these, on these pillars and all that stuff, and I kind of reckon that's way cool, because I like, you know, when I was a little bit, a little bit younger than I am now, um, you know, I did a fair bit of that sort of stuff, not urban, but in the, in the forest, because there's a lot of fallen trees and all this sort of shit, and, uh, but I don't exactly, I like it when they do it, you know, and if they fall, they'll kind of survive. Um, don't exactly agree when they, they go to, see, they go all over the world. And um, people say, hey, check out this joint. And they, um, you know, they'll be on top of uh, high buildings in Hong Kong or wherever. And um, jumping from one building to the next. And if they happen to uh, have a bit of an oopsie poo, say their shoe decides to, yeah, uh, I don't know, tear apart and they go, oops, you know, I don't exactly agree with it. Hello. Hey, look at this. See, I've been here before. I'm telling you, they're steep. I wasn't in my best condition um, when I ran up that, <laughs> that time I did that. I actually had a, quite a few drinky poos, I think, in recent in the in the recent times when I did that so I was in the best condition but yeah I blasted up that I swear one of those one of that one of those open paintings all froggy so, all open and they will deteriorate. Alright we'll have a quick look up there and then I'll go and have a look at that temple over there. It's not crucial that I um that I uh temple up there. Sorry, the shrine. Yeah. There. 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 No, I'm not gonna run up. I've got this shake all over something. Not run just <laughs> see there's loads of places I'll tell you this is steep mate. <laughs> there's loads of places that you can do an awesome amount of training you know physical training in this land loads of places and heaps of um free running places yeah in the mountains which is just awesome <laughs> I'm trying to clamber up there and talk at the same time. <sighs> oh. 
those old, uh, those old um, broken bits. Stone. We're gone. This is where a really old tree, huge thing, uh, decided to give up the ghost. <laughs> Love the family crest, this one. Yep, gonna have to ring that Shinto Shrine Suzu. Now, we'll take our shoes off on this stone. Oh no, giving. One of the biggest Suzu bells I've ever seen. Right. What are you doing on a Thursday? <laughs> Did you hear that? I bounced and coins fell in. Yeah. Oh shit. Punchy poos. Oh, that's Meiji. 1868 and 1912. Tell by their uniforms. Must be fighting the Chinese or something. Speculate. Yeah. Uma san, Uma san. Yumi bow right there. Uma is horse. Umi is sea. No, I don't know what to get yeah. uh, I had a real deal antique. Real deal antique Yumi bow. Samurai used years ago. If only I had a save every dime I ever made but then I wouldn't have had all those good times eh? but, uh, I had saved all of that I wouldn't have been so stressed about being so impoverished but then again, good times eh? I'm not here for a long time I'm here for a good time yes, right, now what I'm going to do is go and find that Buddhist temple that's the mission. Yep. Another little Susie bell. It's eight bell. Small. Right. Ah, wow. Well, jumped in the rig. I figure just rumbling down the road. It's just the weather's gorgeous now. Out oh, here, yeah, it's still warm in the warehouse, but here it's lovely. I've got the windows down. Nine o'clock at night. And she's just. Oh, I was having a bit of a ramble back there. Had no clear, concise plan of what to say. But what the hey? Right, can't go too quick. Sometimes you go along this area, and uh, depending on the night or season or if it's wet or whatever, you get a lot of frogs, and you can't. No matter how good you are, you, you can't save them all. I'm no Jane Monk or nothing, but I do swerve and try to, you know, but sometimes they, they go, oh, he's okay. Um, he's a small one. Um, and, uh, 
they were all safe that time but one time yeah unfortunately a few of them had a bit of a squishy wishy yes um, a Jane monk they're um, these dudes that wear face coverings <laughs> you know how's that um, and that's a part of their religious practice to do so um, because they feel that they um, don't want to harm any creature whatsoever and an accidental uh, creature accidentally um, flying in your into your mouth into your gob is uh, sort of against their against their uh, practices so yeah maybe I should become one of them or kind of feel that maybe it would have been better for me I don't know how long actually this I'm just gonna ramble until the battery runs out <laughs> As this uh, this bloke, he's um he's a an Islam dude, a Muslim dude, and uh, but he lives in Germany, not from Germany, or you know from wherever, and then he went to Turkey, and then he resides in Germany, and um, I've watched over the years his um, his business. I've met him a number of times, and uh, you know generally at the hardware store, and um, he uh, we have a coffee every now and again, you know back then. Uh, during this, um, now that everything's hit the fan, I might go down here again, yeah, it's really nice. Um, I haven't seen him open much at all um, for quite some time. But I've watched, um, I've seen his business grow and grow and grow. They bought the place across the road and they put tar, well, bitumen, you know, like that, um, down. And then they, the vehicles that he would purchase to send to Germany, his, his uh, partner in Germany, uh, he's married to a Japanese girl. Um, you know, the cars, the vehicles were just sort of the quality, just much better and better kind of thing. So the guy's doing really well. He employs mechanics and spray painter dudes and all that. And yeah, so he's, you know, looks very successful. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm not successful. <laughs> I couldn't be a success. Um, but, you know, I kind of. I don't know man, what separates us from the animals and to me as far as I can understand it's art. And uh, but then again some animals are really artistic, you know, look at spiders and all the fancy webs and shit they can make. Um you know, so um Um art. I'm uh not an animal I'm not saying he is he's a good bloke. Um you know, what he does, you know, they purchase second-hand cars from auctions and they do that some of the cars are kick ass uh, yeah that's, that's really cool but you know I don't know uh, I thought about that years ago if I had like someone in Australia that had one of those LMCT things a uh, license to sell vehicles second-hand vehicles um, you know I could have gotten into that if I had money you gotta have dough to start that sort of thing but he had a small amount and I presume and be because of the quality of uh, the in how the quality of his rigs have improved. Um, I know of a chap that um, tried to. Let's just go on here and let this guy go by. I know of a chap that tried to get into that, and uh, he um, purchased shit. Uh, he purchased a um, a um, a four-wheel drive, and his plan was, I think it was, to send to. Korea was it? Something like that. And it turns out it was diesel. Now, uh, where I'm at, uh, the, uh, the warehouse, um, uh, the other warehouse I had, um, and I moved to the bigger one, uh, next door to me, he, he had that place and um, took over from a mate of mine and um, uh, big double doors kind of thing. So he housed this full drive in there. And it turns out total blowout because he couldn't send that particular vehicle because it was a diesel something like that that's at least that's the story I got so it could be all kinds of convoluted wishy-washy but you know his his uh, last-ditch effort to sort of change what he was doing into something just boom it's gone you know it didn't work out for him that's a total pity you know but that's that's the game man I mean look at all the what I had to learn you know, and like some things you can't send, or some countries you can't, uh, the, the weight limits are too much, or the size limits, and you know, I just, oh, God, and uh, back in the sort of 
the earlier days of eBay, for instance, um, the the scam artists out there, you know, just thankfully they've been able to clean up so much of that, you know. Um, I'm often very wary of, say, people that are zero bidders, and if it's something real cheap, it's sort of like, yeah, okay, I'll give them a go, um, because they, you've got to start from somewhere, like some people just won't deal with them at all, you know, so I kind of have some formulation of some belief that mankind could probably get better. I'm a dickhead, I know. <laughs> Someone told me years ago, I said, oh, I prefer to, you know, believe in, have faith in mankind. And the guy said to me, mate, you're going to get all your shit stolen. <laughs> you know, and that's when I had a shop years ago, a physical shop. And, um, yeah, well, anyways, uh, I kind of, I like what I do, you know. Like uh, last night when I was looking at that shakuhachi there, um, that Zen flute, and uh, just how solid it was, and you know the things, the things are worth uh, a little. Uh, um, the things, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> I wrapped it across my knuckles. <laughs> um, don't do that ever again. But just the beauty of this stuff, you know, and the song that it can bring. Where can we can make this? He's gonna go for it. Yeah, he's going for it too. We're all going for it. Ah, shit. Not gonna make it. But he's gonna go for it anyway. Nah, better off, like I said earlier, to have a bit of patience. Yeah, like that. Oh my, it, it truly is a wonderful evening. There can be no doubt. Just the that's what you want, how just nice and when it finally cools down. And it it's this is the beginning. Um I'm not gonna throw it out there because tomorrow it might just gush down, but I think maybe the monsoonal rains have decided to ease up now and we're gonna start moving toward a um um Aki. Autumn. Yes. Kind of, um, my plan years ago was to, um, never see a Japanese winter ever again. You know, <laughs> that was the plan. Ah, uh, yeah. And then, then the bad people decided to take control. Yes. But anyways, um, I guess when, uh, if, Australia ever did open up, which I doubt. I think there's uh, entities out there, like look at Amazon for instance, they're rats. They're like, people stay home and just buy our shit, their stock's just going rat. <laughs> you know, maybe I should buy shares in Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, I could afford them. Not. <laughs> how much, how much do you get for like a liter of your blood these days? How much is an Amazon share? Like one, hey, eh? might be like Bitcoin or something. Yes, I'm certain there are a lot of entities out there that just want this to keep rolling and rolling and rolling. And uh, there's other entities like me that want to be free, you know. I'd like to go back to Australia once a year, say three months. And um, yeah, you know, like I would generally get some kind of whatever job. And... Uh, whether it be construction or farming or whatever, you know, some kind of whatever job, casual kind of thing, and yeah, see, a mate of mine, um, I met on one of these farms, um, he was a casual worker, and one of the blokes, um, he asked one of the blokes that, uh, the managers, he said, oh, you reckon you could sign me off as a uh, full-timer, and he said, yeah, no, isn't it, because he said he wanted to get a bank loan, and, um, I think he got his uh, first home loan buyers, first first home buyers loan thing, and they give you. Oh, back in the day, it was like seventeen grand or something towards the loan. I don't know what it is now. About three hundred billion Australian dollars. So that'd be like five Indian rupees or whatever. And um, yeah, so um, he got that, and then he he uh, showed me all these pictures of his house. He just keeps showing me pictures and pictures. Like, yeah, you just showed me a hundred pictures. I get it, it's a house. <laughs> but he was so wrapped to have it. And he had, um, in this town that's um, got a huge um, uh, 
farming type of district so he had a bunch of um, um, travelers that um, were seasonal worker travelers you know from England and, and even a few Japanese he said um, yeah, staying at his place and they give him you know whatever he was asked for charge for rent which was pretty cheap um, cheaper than like the backpackers sort of thing and um, so he had people all around him all the time stuff like that I haven't heard from him um, unfortunately I tried to contact him a few times and when all the shit at the fan uh, I don't know maybe maybe it went bad for him I don't know um, don't know uh, the last time I, I did hear from him he said oh maybe it's no good it's coming up the right now because that's for when they were plunging into all this lockdowns and stuff and said, nah, it's not good and so hopefully he hasn't like lost the house or been tossed into jail or something because he was working for this um oh, what do you call it oh, some some kind of online thing where people post that say they want someone to come around and build a fence for them or fix their garden or you know whatever and so he was doing that sort of stuff air, air tasker is it what it's called yeah i was thinking of airbnb or something it's called air tasker something like that so he was doing it so basically what they do is someone will say they want someone to come around and teach them how to you know do some software thing on their pc or whatever it might be um and uh paint their house or whatever it might be you know and so he uh he, he came down to see me and we went to the pub and uh he, he um had a trailer with all kinds of tools and stuff and see so basically what it's about you, you bid for the job um and people will say all right well you you know, you, or I'm happy enough to employ you for that particular job. It might be a day's job, it might be a few weeks, whatever. And um, some of it might be more specialised sort of thing. They might need a licensed electrician to do whatever's and stuff like that. So it's really, it's a really cool idea, you know. Um, so he was doing that. And uh, the thing is, in Australia, well, uh, in Victoria actually, um, they had this, they implemented this, oh, you can't go outside your area more than five kilometers and then an old girlfriend of mine lives in in melbourne and uh she said she's got this card thing she's got to show them to prove that she's going to her place of work so you've got that stipulation or some nonsense like that you're allowed to do that but in general you have to stay within five cases you know how can you go protest when you um have to stay in yes you get it yeah anyways um a designated areas for protest um i'll be a mini rebel news um and so that was his mainstay for his wealth because i think that um most of the people like those that were sort of giving him some rent for that place well uh they would have ended up going back to their homelands right and then very few people were flying in because you couldn't fly in so my presumption is that um he couldn't go and do that that work because he can't sort of prove that he's he's working full-time at that particular establishment or whatever because there is no establishment it's just hodgepodge here and there work and not getting funding from um, people staying renters you know like temporary uh, homestayers uh, homestay type things um, so I'm sort of guessing that it might have fallen into a pile of shit uh, I hope not um, shit mate, it'd be great if he just contact me and said, no, nah, all's good, you know. Because um, I'd love to see him again and uh, go up there and, uh, yeah, hang out. Because at the time he said, yeah, yeah, just stay, come and stay anytime you like and all that. And I was thinking of going that area. I looked it up and there's plenty of work and, but you can't get there. That's why there's plenty of work because you can't really get there, you know. Um, Are you going to stay here in five kilometres within your area? Okay. You know, while they're having an old bummer 60th bash party without masks. And, oh, oh God, damn it. You know, playing God, mate, playing God. Well, I hope he's okay. But i got to kind of start making a few decisions for myself. If ever the world, humanity, like, started to get sensible again and figure upon what am I going to do, you know? Because um, something like that would be pretty cool for me, yeah. Um, or do I stay, or try to just cling on and stay here? I love it here. 
Um, some people do your tally catally uh, back and forth. You know. well, I wasn't sure if that was a battery thing or a uh, memory card -y thing got too full. <laughs> oh, um, whatever. Um, yeah, the battery just went dunk. <laughs> so I pulled out the other one, had it on my charger -y thing, but it doesn't really charge much. Yeah, I never really thought that much about it, you know, like, um, uh, but maybe I sort of got to start being a bit more mature. Um, but I don't know, man. I just can't foresee that um, people are really that willing, um, those that are in control are really that willing to just go, yeah, let's all, um, let's all, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I just can't sort of see that happen. But anyways, um, that kind of ideal, that could be an ideal thing for me and maybe if I had like a five year plan for instance and said okay, just on the off chance that um, humanity did get sensible again, um, but you know, something like that, say a small country town, um, and sort of, I don't know, a bloke said to me a while back, you know, it's probably a good idea if you start slowing down, mate, because he, he had a few medical issues, another guy I know had a few medical issues, and another bloke I know, uh, he's sort of a bit on the wild side, and he's like, uh, he just doesn't care anymore, you know, drinking way too much, and, you know, a lot of these guys are either my age or sort of, you know, roughly my age, and some of them are a bit, a bit on the wild side still. Um, and I think they sort of look at me going, yeah, you know, <laughs> they probably see a lot of themselves in me, um, you know, so, yeah, I've been here, as I say, a long time, so, uh, sometimes you run into a lot of chaps, and, uh, you know, some, some chaps I know sort of like said, yeah, you know, it's come to a time where I have to, in fact, a, a few blokes I haven't seen, like, for many years, because they did have some issues um, because it was all it was all party party go go and like that's what happens with a lot of foreigners here you get here as a young man and it's just freaking go 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 because it's 24 7 and you know it's like um a disposable income kind of thing you know you're teaching some rudimentary you know, it's not that difficult to teach, in, teach English really is it um Unless you're in some fancy pants school where you've got to prepare. A lot of people, a lot of jobs you don't have to prepare at all. You just go in there, you know, rock it out. And then, um, you know, it's it's off to the pub. <laughs> you know? And uh, so, and that, after years and years, can sort of, um, can kind of wear you down a bit. Yeah, you know, it's the pretty much the rock and roll lifestyle. And now a lot of blokes, <laughs> I know, were like that. And some are still like that. You know, which is highly understandable. Yeah. And I got to sort of, I don't know. Would I get, like, bored? <laughs> I've been in a few small towns, you know, in my life, stay for a year or whatever, and and um, I don't know man, it's like after being in Japan where it's just access to just everything just all the time, well not, not fucking heroin or fentanyl or some stupid shit like that, but you know, it's like there's always something going on, constantly, and uh, you know, in the age of the internet and all that, there's, there's always, um, it's basically, there's entertainment pretty much everywhere. I haven't uh, sort of uh, lost my principles in, in a lot of... <laughs> Go parkour down there. <laughs> Those dudes do some wild stuff. And they, they jump from there to wherever down here and then they just stick it on one of those things and we'll have a bit of a rolly poos. Great stuff. I wouldn't want to see those guys um, up there on, you know, major heights and stuff anymore because they've got such a following, so many young people follow them that they'd be tempted to, you know, try that sort of thing themselves. 
And I think you're better off. Um, oh look, this residence just here. Um, better off sort of <laughs> not really doing that. I mean, sticking with something where if you do fall, as I say, you're going to be alright. I think that's sort of uh, be better for your conscience too, you know. We've got a huge following, millions of people. We've got loads of dough, go all over the world. And look at the beginnings of it. This is someone's house there, I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the beginnings of it, in the early stages when they do it, it's free. You know? And that's so cool about that sport. It's, you can really consider it a sport. They're not wild people and young guys on the blah. Like, for me, I'd, I'd ride down that thing on a mountain bike. No problem. And then hit that for here out here boom just jump off that yeah I could do that no problem my old GT hardtail the only thing you gotta worry about if you mess up and you go donk into one of those with your handlebar and then then you, then it's a bit of an old cheap <laughs> right uh, so it wasn't gonna use utilize too much of this battery power and I have no idea what road to go on go over there. But we'll give it a go. Oh god, isn't this cute? Ooh, do, 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 do. Hang on, there's a little garden-y thing here. Oh god! I left my car over there, I haven't been gone for half an hour. And left the windows down, all my stuff. Oh no! Look what happened. Right. That's one of those bongo vans. Here, there, and everywhere. Oh man, what am I going to do now? All oh, my stuff. Hmm? Oh well, I guess I wasn't insured anyway. Oh, look! It's all still here! I should have just left the keys in it instead of uh, letting them weigh me down. I'll do that next time. Oh, everything's still here. Sometimes um, the colossal will come along and go, thanks, <laughs> those birds, goddamn birds. Right then, now, it's, it's over there. Yep, I'll probably find a road. Yeah. The mission failed. It was actually a residence with a real high roof, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a Buddhist temple at all. I ended up having to turn around in some dude's joint. There's that song to tell us at six o'clock. They have these um, they have these uh, like speakers all around this area. There we go. Wow. Um, yeah, that was a that was an oops from the from over there. It looked like um, it was a temple. Well, I'm not always right, am I? Yeah. Oh. Well, that was that. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. So. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll I'll head to the warehouse now and uh, actually get something done. Hey, we may be rough, but we're slow. There we go, and make vast improvements over that. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna have to pick all that up at some stage. Um, yeah, I reckon one more here might do the trick. And uh, a board there, you know, underlay a board there, or whatever I can do. Supposed to be a. I'm gonna have to dig all that out and go. Right. Yeah, maybe rough. The whistle. Ah, finally get to sit down. Yeah. No, I can't do it like them. The Hodge twins. Yeah. 
gonna have a damn good show. A damn good show. <laughs> the Hodge twins. Those blokes are awesome. Right. Now, I asked for Soupy, and I did get Soupy. Yep. Um, but I was thinking, how's this for genius? Oh, just I'm a stupid genius. That's what I am. Up to this. Yeah. Um, need some more ki. More ki needs more ki. Yeah. Okay. Now. Doing this. How's this for genius? This is soup. Now I've already had half of this. Watch this. Make it even more soupy. There you go. Oh, yes. That's bamboo, actually. That stuff. Yummo. Cook it like that. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. You might need a bit of tightening up there. Oh. Right, I'm gonna get stuck in back into this food. Hey, the uh, appetite. <coughs> oh God, get poop. That's what I should do. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, let's do something with that. Right, back to it. Right then, get a few more things done here. Um, this is an authentic Edo period, 1603 to 1868. Samurai Jin Gusa helmet. Now, um, it's uh, it's definitely had its day. Um, there's no come on family crest, and the lacquering. This these t style is like uh, hard pressed paper kind of stuff, and um, so it's good. It's still awesome, but um, there is no strappings or anything left with it. But it's the real deal, so. That, what I'm going to do is include this silk antique howry. So, come on there. Uh, it's got three come on, hasn't it? One, two, three. It's very antique, old school. I think it will um, complement this uh, very well if you were to put it in a glass cabinet or something like that for posterity. And also this really cool black kimono. Um, we have one, two, three, uh, four, and we have five, two on the front. Um, come on, it's uh, very long, so that's really cool. So I'll put all that together. It'll be cheap because it doesn't have the, the come on and, you know, all that and what have you. But uh, I reckon if you, you hung that someplace, uh, looks like you can, you could probably hang it from... Well, maybe not. <laughs> you could probably hang it from there. Yeah, yeah, there's a few points here you could probably do, so maybe. Maybe if you get sort of Yeah, you could do that. You could work that out. Okay, that's that. Alright, let me see if I can find something else. Now as I'm presenting this um char gumma, you see, I um I'll do a bit more with it in a minute. But um I actually listed this thing or plan to, spidey webs on there, um, plan to back in um, January 15th of 2020. And um, then all that, everything hit the fan. And uh, I might as well do it now. Um, uh, we'll get around to that. Um, anyways, I was going to place this over there because this was going to be the next thing that I plan on listing. I haven't even looked in this thing. And uh, this is a real deal. These are quite quite popular indeed I thought there was only the one of them and as you put a, uh, a pot um, on a base like this similar sort of stuff and um, and then you have your charcoal under that I didn't realize that there was actually two in here now this one here total old school very popular stuff look at all this stuff that's uh, it's very it's intact very much so but all this build-up of stuff over the years and what I'm gonna have to do is work on it to clear all this stuff off um, didn't even know I had this one <laughs> there you go so I got lucky on that one when I was at the auction house this is years ago I've had this sitting over there for years didn't even know <laughs> right so I'm gonna work on that um, well I guess all right let's have a look at this uh, let's have a look at this um, uh, notes 
308 tall, 310 wide. Um, I've measured, because someone might want to put it in an alcove or something. Um, all up, she's uh, 308 millimeters tall to that tip there, and 310 from the widest points from there to there. Now, what uh, happens with these? Um, that's is that bronze or brass? I think that's brass, yeah. And that spins. Um, what happens with these? Now, the surface rust is not so bad in this one. The tannins in tea, what you do is you boil tea. Generally, there would be... Um, I do so recall, actually, this one, this particular one. Um, there was a, a lot of ash in this thing. And I had the... I dumped it all out and I had the air hose. And this took... Yeah. I remember this one from way back in the day. It's got all this, like, just, it's just old school. See all this? It's just old school. Um, now, uh, the tannins in the tea, you boil it, and generally there'll be charcoal in here, right? It's smokeless charcoal, Japanese sashimi it's called. And then the, in time, the tannins in the tea will clear up all the, um, I've done it before myself even. Um, we'll clear up all the, the surface rust. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that thing over there now. I didn't expect to do that, but there you have it. Alright guys. Okay, right, let's have a look. So this is artisan stuff right here. The reason why I'm sorting this out right now is because of like that char gamma, fru gamma, I uh figured I'd, I'd and eventually get around to listing that again uh, when when it all hit the fan all my listings just went poof disappeared and uh yeah oh my my i had so many listings like 240 listings or something all that work i put in as you see i go to all these temples and shrines i often take things to the shrines and temples and mountains and wherever and show my products you know anyways this is artisan stuff and i believe that this thing here this one here was uh, the replacement for this one. Now I knocked off a, a lot of stuff off that, but it's still in very solid condition. Condish. Uh, now this thing here, um, old school, huge old school. That'd be the artisan's name down there or, or here, I think. Um, nice solid box. Uh, this is this is really good stuff. Um, yeah, this is good stuff. Starting to guess that um, maybe when I was in the fight for this, they let it go because they realised they'd have to clean that up. <laughs> and um, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I wasn't really keen on doing that. <sighs> um, that's all the uh, from the many, many, many times. I hope you can hear me okay. With the fan on and all. Very warm right now. Um, the many, many, many times that that would have been used, and uh, whether in a temple or I would, I would say probably a tea ceremony, school, or something like that. Anyways, um, uh, height ways for this one. That's what 100, uh, 100 mil there, and diameter 245. That one there. Uh, I'll have to hook that dry. So what's that? Just under 200. No, sorry. Just under 150, I think, and diameter wise, I don't want to touch it with this. Uh, say 250, something like that. Yeah, hopefully, um, an artisan out there will uh, yeah, be well keen to clean that up. This is good stuff. And when I say that, it's the way it is. Uh, so I'll sea freight that. Um, I think I'll let that dry overnight and then figure out a way to I'll probably just wrap it all in paper or something like that because you know it's not exactly clean <laughs> they had to wash up a bit um yeah so you get that, that and that and that's a separate listing so there you go I think that'll be enough for today um I was actually going to do something else and I didn't expect that that was going to happen but I'm still yeah very pleased that I found that because that imagine the stories that have been told around the hearth with that yeah absolutely yeah yep and that would have been the replacement one 
Okay, all right, that should do for that. I think I might go over there and uh, have a bit of a chatty poos. Oh, that's better. It's nearly nine o'clock night time. And uh, uh, let's see if we can tweak that a bit. Yes. Oh, I, uh, well, I can't say that I've got a lot done you know, today. But, well, in a way, you know, I kind of uh, went for a bit of a bit of a walkie poos. So that was nice, nice to do. Just I guess that I was a little bit disheartened with humanity. Uh, you know, like when I was talking about that woman, she didn't put something on her head, so they killed her. You know? Uh, maybe it, it is a conservative manner to wear something similar to this. I should make fun of it, but, um, you know, but, um, is it necessary to destroy someone? Maybe threaten her or something like that, you know? But just to outright destroy someone like that, yeah, highly disheartening and, oh well, that's, uh, you know, nothing I can do about it, but, um, humanity's got to improve. Just the way it is. Well, no, I'm pretty tired. I, I figured I'd better clean up all that deposits and stuff, rusty stuff, uh, and, uh, because I didn't really want to do it on the morrow. No, I'll come here on the morrow and do some, a few other things. There's so many things that are laying about it that I really don't know that I have, uh, because um, uh, when the um, when everything hit the fan, uh, my eBay account was just <laughs> suspended. You know, because things were shipping was taking so long, and so many ships getting in the port. Things are actually getting through, but it's still taking a long time, much longer than. You know, generally things would be six weeks to three months, and uh, you know, some people have been waiting five months. Some people get it faster. England seems to be faster than other places. Um, you know, and so some people blame me for the whole shebang. <laughs> you know, and um, and so I uh, was suspended, and when I was unsuspended, all my listings were gone. You know, the amount of work that I put into it, you know, the amount of time and all those places I went to and all those photo shoots and all those, yeah, am I disheartened again? You know, you just got to keep plugging away, my life's still pretty reasonable, still got my health, shit I've been sober for like three days now, can't be that long, yeah. Probably about three days. Shit. We even cleaned the toilet. Threw away a bunch of cans. Bought a bunch of cleaning products. It's amazing um what you get done when you're sober. <laughs> you're just like, oh, I might as well just do that now. Yeah, I reckon. Either tomorrow or the next day, um, I'll be able to, I've got a, um, you know, what do you call those crooked bars, one of these in the, in the apartment, I reckon I can start doing this again, um, slowly build up, I'm just throwing, I'm not worried about this gut, I'm just throwing as much food as I can in here, and um, to try and get my weight back, and uh, get some will, and the will's there, the uh, appetite is definitely coming, um, and uh, yeah, I'm not as despondent about the world as it is. In a hundred years' time, he's gonna give up. So there you go. Um, what I'm gonna do is go through um, the listings that I do have and um, have a look at. Um, there's just stuff everywhere, you know, that was listed, or was going to be listed. And uh, so in, in the coming time, um, yeah, I'll improve that. And uh, I'm going to 
uh, list more things on my Etsy page too because like the fees are less and, uh, and um, just stuff like that and I kind of like the feel of it so I'm going to do both and uh, now that I have this fancy phone I can um, get one of those on two step verification um, with the other phone I couldn't get it you know you're supposed to receive some code and then you never get the code and you know, I'm sort of looking at Amazon, maybe, possibly, um, we'll see. Or maybe it's, you know, I don't want to throw it all around there, but I figure, you know, there's still, not still, but there are a lot of options that I should be looking at, because um, I, I follow a lot of people, right? So um, I figure, you know, their advice is, uh, well, they don't always just outrightly give it, but from what they do, you can see that... Um, they uh, utilize a lot of different platforms in order to um, spread things out and not rely too much on just one, one thing. Um, I was thinking of um, like doing a bit of, I don't know, teaching or stuff, something like that, or stuff. Um, you know, rudimentary basic sort of English is, uh, has been something uh, greatly of interest for, for, uh, for many here. Um, but you find that there are many foreigners that are kind of stuck here or, you know, couldn't get out and all that. And I figured I'd just disappear back to Australia for, you know, three months at, at, at that time um, last year sometime. And uh, a lot of people just got out right away. And I waited and waited and I figured I'll just disappear for three months and jump in the big tough ute and just go for a bit of a spinny poos. And my mother was just saying, um, recently on uh, this text she said it's, it's even worse now you can't even go five kilometers out of your places um, so yeah I didn't even pay my car registration you know, it came up in June and I just didn't pay it because it's like just you know but then you've got to go through the throes of uh, getting it re-registered, which means you've got to get a road where you're going to go through this nonsense. And who knows? It just who knows, man. But, um, yeah, I'm shifting gears a bit. Um, I uh, sent something this very day. Um, there's probably some people out there in Aussie land that know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm going to try and gear up for each week, get something groovy going there. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for me. Um, as I say with a lot of foreigners here, you'll find that um, there's not exactly much in the way of teaching. You used to be able to just roll up to some place and look on a message board and um, be like um, job board. Next to that it'd be like uh, friends wishing to meet, or whatever, you know, wishing to meet people. In fact, my brother, um, I mean, I mentioned it to him and he said, yeah, you had a look at it and he, uh, he was contacted, he contacted um, a few people that had, you know, put up messages they're looking to meet someone for language exchange, that's what it is. And um, at the time, uh, they, they closed down actually, they went to some other place, I don't know if it's the same sort of format, a lot of things went online. Um, he said, yeah, um, I met 20 chicks and one gay guy, <laughs> he's not gay, <laughs> you know, just like that, <laughs> within a week. Uh, and he married one. Yeah, there you go. So back in the day, it was, uh, yeah, pretty wild. But I rolled up here with my wife. Um, so so that was that. Uh, well, actually, we were girlfriend boyfriend at the time. So, um, you know, I didn't have that sort of wildness. <laughs> no. Um, but, yeah, at the time, uh, I remember when I was there, um, I was having a look at this board, job board, you know. And this lady just comes up and says, you, you need a job. <laughs> just like that. And um, I had some um, private lessons. So I would just go to a park and have couples or whatever, you know, and, and well, off case chicks. But you know, I was married, right? So, and, uh, for me, it's far too complicated to have two at the same time. Not my bag. Uh, I've never done that. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. A man's got to stand by his so, uh, beliefs, you know. And uh, the few. That's unique. <laughs> uh, now look at me. I've been on my own for years. I uh, just 
decided to go on this um, see from the age of 17 you know for most of my life there's always someone there you know and I kind of had this stupid idea because I'm a moron of like I'll go on this journey to find out who I am try to handle my own candle and all that bullshit but I'm not lonely but if, there were, if it was like 20 years ago or something I would be lonely I think because like actually I meet a few there's a few people I know uh, and I and uh, they're a lot younger than I am I'm 51 and uh, they, uh, they're lonely yeah that one guy I know who just recently got married he was married but he knew this girl for like two months they hadn't married Wonderful. Um, once you've had a lot of girlfriends, I don't know where this ramble's going, I'm just, just going for it. You know, you kind of, I don't know, maybe you get centered to the point where you're like, God, sometimes they just give me the frickin' shit. What's this for? You're thinking they just want to strangle them. Um, <laughs> uh, so, and, um, you know, uh, is a man supposed to be is a man supposed does a man are they supposed to live together all the time I don't know um but some people match and become one um you know but uh yeah as at my particular age um I don't feel like it. it's it's very strange I think it attributes a lot to there was always someone there at that time, so I never really knew, you know, what's it like to just do my own shit. And, um, but I kind of, I don't know, you kind of need that restraint to a, uh, a partner to give you. Um, but, um, you know, because I've gotten a bit on the wild side, you <laughs> know, rebel without a course, all this shit. Um, quite, um, quite a number of occasions. Uh, you know, lucky I wear stuff like this. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't know, man. I haven't got all the answers. So um, but yeah, but strangely, I'm not lonely. Love what I do. Happy enough. You know, happy as a pig in shit. No idea how much battery power I've got there. But for now. Uh, I don't know, maybe someday I might switch gears again and think differently. Maybe I uh, want to have another relationship. Because I've met a few, you know, over the last few years and I kind of like, I don't know, man, I, I either upgrade or have someone that's it's equal to the rest. So you get to the point where you just keep upgrading and you're, you're just looking for super, super models all the time, you know, uh, as you degrade. You kind of fall apart when you get a bit older. Uh, but anyways, um, not exactly. Don't exactly look as. Uh, that's not true. As you get older, you like, find why. Just get better. Just keep telling yourself that. Um, I don't know. I just felt that quite a number of them just weren't good enough. Or I could just see that it's. Uh, No, 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 not change. But for now, I'm still thoroughly content. Um, try not to sort of think too much about the, just how humanity is right now. Uh, and, uh, but anyways, um, sorry for that. Um, yeah, I've got a, I've got a, so much that I can. At least I'm not sort of sedentary to the point that I've got nothing I can actually do. I've got just too much that I can do. And if this is not enough, then I could, I could even do that, you know. I'm a bit worried about getting all broken to pieces again. That's not really... Uh, so I kind of think it would be, so it'd be pretty cool to jump on that thing again. And a few jumpy dudes and whatever. And <laughs> that would be a bit of fun. Uh, Plan for 
maybe tomorrow. I might make up another box. Play around with some yucky one all, which is like, you know, ceramics. And there's a number of boxes here that are packed already. I don't plan on just pulling them all out and just going, yeah, you know, it's, it's already packed. It takes a long time to pack a lot of things around. So I'm thinking, I have a look at my listings uh, and have a look around here to see what is actually packed and what I actually know. Often I'll write on the box itself what it is. And I uh, just say to people, oh, you know, just have faith. That's that's good shit. Buy that. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some, some of my uh, buyers, my loyal buyers out there, be well keen. Be like, yeah, when he says it's good. Alright, I've got something to look forward to uh, right now. I'm going to go and have a look to see. Um, I've got the lotto tickets in here. Um, lotto 6, one is going to go off, or maybe it already has um, this evening. So I'll go and see if I'm a billionaire or not. There we go. Alright, hang in there and um, try to be good because we kind of know that. Balance of good and bad in this world is um, we've got some serious problems. Yeah, if you're a good person, um, try to be a leader, will you? Alright, now I'm not worried about this gut. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be good. You be good. Right. Alright, I'm guessing that this one would have been a replacement for that one. I'm sort of guessing that uh, this might have been used at a, because uh, I've never seen a cake like this before. I've had a few of these over the years and they're very popular uh, at the auction house and quite difficult. I know I had to fight for that for sure. Um, it's been there for years. Uh, look at all this stuff. I, I would say that this would probably use it either for ceremonies at a um, Shinto shrine or possibly a um, you know, a tea ceremony school, just a sheer amount of this caked on stuff and over the years of me just constantly just in constant use and I would say there's um, an artisan out there for certain uh, scraper on that and just knocking all this stuff off I'd say there's an artisan out there that's interested in tea ceremony and Japanese stuff uh, I'm going to be well keen to um, bring this back to its um, bring it back to its glory days um, to clean it all up so I've taken most of the stuff off it so obviously that's all real still rusty and all so I'll have to wrap it and then I'll place that one and put some bubble over and then place that one in there too so then there's two of them but uh, yeah th this is this is some rare stuff that's artisan stuff right there so that's really good um, I'll see freight it I'll bubble wrap all that and then put all this other that other wrapping stuff on overlay on that and that's a very solid box so um yeah hopefully this will go to someone that's well interested in in uh, repairing things and um tea ceremony artisan type of person uh if not that's just the way it is but uh yeah i hope that that's the case all right ah, another day all right here we are at the ginkgo this is um the Fukuoka Ginko and uh, you have the English button see English Korean Chinese so that's Kangaku uh, Kangaku Go which means Korean Chugaku Go means Chinese and then you've got the master language English but I know what this means this means uh, to take dough out so what we do is I want this chuck it out thingy and yeah Okay, a thingy in here. Sometimes the English sort of gets a bit wonky. Go like that. Chuck your thingy in there, and then you go. Oh. And you go like that, and then you go. Uh, how much do I need again? Uh, Nine thousand yen. I'm sending something to Australia. Here, so. and you go like that. Uh, yeah. 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 Nine thousand yen. Right. Now, let's go. So the Fukuoka Ginkgo is um, 
generally for Koko, but you can use like the Mizu, Mizuno Ginkgo, something like that, which is the green one. You probably find they're sort of located more in other areas. Um, but you can use like you can use the Fukuoka thingy uh, in most ATMs around the country as far as I can understand it but you might have to pay a bit of a fee something like that funny thing is computers seem to be like alive most of the time but after a certain time like nine o'clock or something you often have to pay an extra fee and um um hey one oh, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep I haven't got to sleep at 4.30 um, in the morning and just hopped straight in the bath and slept in that anyway um, so uh, sometimes like after 9 o'clock on a Thursday Friday, Saturday and Sunday you, you, the, the bank closes until 7 o'clock in the morning it's all very wishy-washy and wonky so it's always good if you ever run into that to have your um, sort of like your safety beer taxi money hidden away in a pocket where you hopefully you'll remember when, you, <laughs> when you've had a few um, so that's uh, what you do yeah last night uh, look, I got yeah I got things sent uh, got to go again today and uh, sort some things out at the warehouse and um, yeah, uh, I figured, um, I noticed that on offroadvideos.com, they had uh, round eight of the AMA motocross. I was like, right, actually the, the 250s was even more enjoyable than the 450s last night. And so, um, what I did, I got some pretty groovy restaurants just down there, the train station's just over there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I sat up watching the motocross until 4, 4 in the morning. Oh, and then just hopped in the bath and went to sleep for five hours. It's amazing, like this area, right? you got your mobile phone shop there. you got your post office just there. You've got the train station there. you got the restaurants and stuff here. you got your supermarket there. you got the beach just there. All within walking distance. you got industry just over there. Here's a little ramen shop I've been in there. That's pretty groovy, actually. And, uh, that's a pet store. Um, and so, what's, what's it called when everything's all in the vicinity? Um, it is kind of building up here. Like, there's a new one coming up right there, too. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, the whole Green New Deal with that crazy AOC or whatever. There's some things I agree with her about. It's like urban planning. If things are planned better, you, uh, you won't have to drive everywhere kind of thing. Um, you know, a lot of American places now, and Australian places, they don't even have sidewalks, they don't even have walkways anymore. People just drive everywhere. This bloke's awesome. He's got his own little veggie garden over there. He must be away for a few weeks or something. He's a real nice guy. Um, he gives me vegetables and stuff sometimes. And we talk about veggies and things. Yeah, good bloke. Because I'm often traversing this way from the post office to the, to the bank. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, everything's in the locale. There's a word I'm trying to come up with. Hey, you're all concrete making place just there <laughs> you know in the post office there and it's all yeah uh far better urban planning is what's necessary for our you don't see these very often these days an actual real telephone all right uh there's a lady in here that speaks the master language ziggings so i'm going to go in there pay some dough and then um get back to the ranch <laughs>